So, all across Canada right now, we're seeing a bunch of LGBTQ protests in regards to Pride Month being involved in schools. The government has come down saying it may be illegal not to celebrate Pride Month. Um, basically saying it goes against the human rights charter of said province to not celebrate Pride Month at school. So, parents don't want their kids to be indoctrinated. LGBTQ folks are hey, we're not doing that. It helps with awareness and acceptance. Here's a teacher telling Muslim students that skipping LGBTQ events is not okay. Well, I'll tell you, you are out to lunch. If you think it's accept, accept, uh, acceptable to not show up because you think that there's some pride activities going on at school, right? Oh, that's fine. You know, because I'm going to show my opinion by hanging out at the mall. But meanwhile, all those kids who are, you know, involved in, say, the Gay Street Alliance or whatever, I don't even know if we have that anymore in our school, they're here when we did Ramadan for lying time, and they're showing respect in the class for your religion, right, for your beliefs. It goes two ways. If you want to be respected for who you are, if you don't want to suffer prejudice for your religion, your uh, color of skin, your whatever, then you better give it back to people who are different from you. That's how it works. It's an exchange. And it isn't like that in all countries. As I told you, in Uganda, literally, if you, they think you're gay, they will execute you. If you believe that kind of thing, then you don't belong here. Because that is not what Canada believes. We believe in freedom. So if you don't participate in Pride events, you do not belong in Canada. Interesting. Listen, I don't know what Ramadan is like today, but when I was growing up, you did it. If you wanted to, you did it. And nobody cared. And honestly, I didn't care if the school got involved why would i give a fuck i'm fasting i don't need you guys to eat sambusas with me we're not going to be there when i break my fast all right you guys call it samosas whatever the fuck you call yo, it yo yo sambusas is fire but you wanna, that's what we call it i want to be there when y'all motherfuckers eat it that shit is delicious but my whole point is like muslims have never been clamoring for other people to observe their religious experiences no. they don't care just don't fuck with our shit and I think most people agree, you want to do this LGBTQ stuff, nobody cares. They just say, just don't fuck with our shit. We won't fuck with yours. But this whole thing about, like, you don't belong here if you're not willing to participate in Pride events is nonsensical. Okay? If you want, as an adult, to encourage people to go to Pride events, there's nothing wrong with that. But saying people don't belong here because they don't want to go to your Pride parade is stupid. And this is the bit, like, I'm for people having discussions about LGBTQ rights in schools during Pride Month. I don't think it's a problem, okay? I don't care that people want to say, like, you know, the history of gay people in Canada. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you want to run, like, drag queen shows or running stuff like Drag Hour for Kids or whatever, like, it's okay with parents saying, like, I don't want that for my kids. The same way, I don't think it's anything wrong with not being accepting of, like, a Muslim sheikh coming to your school to talk to the kids or a pastor coming to your It's okay. You don't have to be for all of that stuff. But we've now made it where if you're not 100% with us, you're 100% against us. But why does it have to involve me? Why, why does my participation have to be part of this process? That is a question that I think a lot of people are asking. And I think there's actually a lot of school programs that are running Pride Month and their events very sensibly. Okay? I really believe that. In that they're not, you know, overindulging. They're just saying, hey, we got this flag up here. And beyond that, like, we're chilling. Okay? And maybe we talk about gay people and what they've experienced. Which is, I don't think it's bad. But then you have other stuff that I'm just like, what the fuck am I even looking at? Like this. So this one, one, two, three, we're already on like the on three, okay? Okay, one, two, three. Slay! Yes. Happy All right. What am I watching? Now, does anybody in this room know how to twerk? That's all in. And then you just move your bum up and down like that, and that's twerking. <laughs> what do you think about LGBTQ stuff being involved in Pride in schools? You think it's good, bad, in it between? It depends on the level of what it's done. Okay. Sometimes, yeah, people are trying to do too much.
like if it's like Black History Month, let's just put the example of Black History Month because that's what you motherfuckers are gonna go to first. If you talk about history, the history of of, of, of black people, I understand that. But if I would walk in one day and my kids are in school and I pick them up and everybody's has a Black Lives Matter shirt and they're in the Pan African flag. Pan African flag. Yeah. Little kids with an Afro. I actually want to see that. Hold on. I don't want to see that. One, other people are talking to me like, white kids come to me like, good morning, sir. Yeah. And I, I would be like, I apologize for what we've done yeah. to you, mister. That would be too much. And I'd be like, I don't want none of this shit. Because that's too much. I kind of want to see Hotep reading day. Like, Jesus was not. black. <laughs> And so was your ancestors. Know your history because we are all one people coming from Africa. Take it back to the motherland because we are standing on an empire of sand. The West is a lie. Girl, I don't want you to die. My white people used to be black people, used to be one people. Poems rhyme like what? Hoems. Because we have cultivated a country of hoes. I do not want you to be hoed out by your government to the people of another government as we engage in war, soldiers or whores. That's pretty fire. Hotep, no tip. There was some good We stuff, got Umar but, Johnson uh, in no, the building, no, no. giving you the Johnson of knowledge. It's like, if, I, if my daughter comes back home, all right, uh, and uh, there's a kid, she's chilling with a kid, uh, a little white kid, white? and the white kid is white like, is oh, right. oh, yeah, that's great, that's great, and he starts clapping like that, I'll be like, your kid, your, your, your friend is a widow. There, what, there's, why, why is this? Why is, what's going on? What's this? Claps are oppressive. Snaps are kindness. They're ways to undo white supremacy through low sound vibrations, crystals. African mythology. You just aren't in touch with the motherland, brother. And so right now you were using the oppressor's language. It's okay, it's not your fault. You've been indoctrinated, much like AI is indoctrinated the youth. You are having an opportunity to be indoctrinated by white supremacy through the indoctrination that we have on television, through your TV set, your movie set, your phone set, through your television, your computer, your tablets. Every day you are being programmed, my brother. Chat GPT is the new CIA. Are you done? Dr. Abba Zaba Zulu King III. Never forget. Politics over Punani. Consciousness over Coochie. Politics over Punani. Consciousness over Coochie. The black cause will not be televised. Keep it in your head. The black cause will not what? Be televised. Black Queens Forever, Snow Bunnies Never. I'm just saying. Black Queens Forever, Snow Bunnies Never. Okay, back to Pride Month. Wait, nope, heterosexual couples only. Like I was saying, Pride Month is the way that they will eliminate the black man by making our children gay. What they are doing is ensuring the fact that none of us reproduce through this LGBTQIA plus indoctrination. Carry on. All right. All this to say, when they're doing too much, like Abba just did, it's weird. It's just fucking weird. Shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, for real. No, when they do too, when they do too much, it's just yeah, it's too much. It's weird. No matter what it is, I think on both sides, people need to not go to extremes and stuff like that, but that will never happen. You know, people are the way they are. And it's a utopia to be, to, to, to be like, to think that people are not gonna go on the stream. But Jesus fucking Christ. On one, I understand both parties, both sides. I understand both sides when they say, yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing inherently bad <clears throat> into drag hours and stuff like that, where it's a drag person, drag queen, a drag person uh -huh. doing stories and stuff like that. I don't have a problem with that. It's the extremes and the debordement where it could go to have a problem with. At the same time, on the other side, the people that are against that are gonna go to some extreme as well. You know what I mean? It's, it's both. There's extreme in both in both sides. You know what I mean? I could I could understand a show where there's drag queens. The nudity doesn't belong in a school. Like in the same way, 
whenever you see twerking to kids and this and that and whatever whatnot which exists and which happened that thing that you just showed us happened i want to see my girl my little girl going to school and be like coming back from school and be like yes i, I was a day honey oh yeah it was just at, yeah it was a cool day i had a pole i had a pole dance class today even if it's a pole dance class and it's done for fitness you cannot remove the sex work part out of that sorry you can you That's cannot disturbing it is, but I Imagine mean... Imagine kids doing pole dancing is just weird to me. It is weird. But I, I'll disagree with you on this point. I side with the parents because I think it's a parent's job to be overprotective of their children. That's what parents do. Yeah, which is... Uh, right, so. like, you can't expect a parent to just, be like, just trust them. What are you, Especially, what are you against, from what I said? So yeah, like, you, you say you understand both sides, but I'm saying the one that makes the most sense is the parent's side sure. because no, parents are thinking about their kids' safety and their well-being. We agree. It's not like they're imagining aliens coming down from the sky. They're imagining stuff that they've actually seen other mm. schools do. And here's the big problem. The reason why the other side, the drag side, loses a lot of its steam yeah. is because when crazy shit happens, instead of, condone, instead of, like, saying it's not okay, they condone it. They're like, well, no, you guys don't understand this and that. I'm like, yo, you make all of yourselves look crazy when you are tacitly supporting the fact that like you got kids doing drag stuff or you got kids doing this and you might think that's okay but i side with most parents who polled on this matter say they don't think it's acceptable i don't think it's and, that, and that's not just right-leaning parents that's also left-leaning parents who don't think some of this stuff is acceptable i don't think it's a problem that parents take out their kids from these activities i don't see that's a problem yeah. i don't see where the problem is there that happened too I, what, in ontario which is fine well during the pride thing i think it was like 40 or 60 percent of the kids didn't go to school those days which is fine and i don't think that's a, that, that that's a problem where i have a problem is with the debordement and then yeah kids stepping on flags and stuff like that Ugh, that's kind of weird but no i don't have a problem with kids not going to certain schools certain events that's fine as a matter of fact when i was a kid my school was catholic i was protestant so whenever they had bible study at school i was not going my parents said, when that class is happening, you're not going. It was not a disrespect to the Catholic, the Catholics. It was not a disrespect to school. Me, uh, that was Protestant. Uh, another friend that I had that I that was uh, Jehovah's Witness. Don't lie. Couple of, couple that shit of was fire, right? Whenever Bible study comes around, you get to stay home? Yeah, because no matter where you're from, Bible study is... <clears throat> But no, no, not because that. You get a day off, nigga, chilling. No, 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 I was not home. What were I you? was not home. I was in another class. I was not having Bible study. Oh, okay. I was doing that's that's shit. whack. That's whack. Right. No, it's not. No, no, because no. Because I'm not no. gonna lie. If no. I know this pride stuff's happening, you know the first thing I'm doing is I'm snitching to my Muslim parents. You wanna know why? Because we get to stay home, nigga, and hey. I love staying Me? home. Me? Hey. hey, I was in hey, another. I, I, was in a, I was in another. I was in another class. I was in another class, and you get to read that book. Yeah. And while reading that book. Bruv, it was a break for me from the rest of the, the, the school and because I needed it. I was snoozing. You understand what I'm saying? Let me take a nappy nap and not bother you. Just, 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 if I snore. But yeah. <laughs> that, I'll be in the quarter. That's down the, fire. But all, all that to say, I'd be, like, not... I, I be, I be telling my parents, I'm, bro, bro, I think they bring in a gay pastor to the school. <laughs> They want to convert me to Islam. No, they want to convert me to Christianity and to homosexuality, bro. Let me stay home. I don't want to be gay, mom. I don't want to be Christian. I'm going to be like, you stay home for the whole week. I'm like, thank you, mom. I'm going to be a good Muslim friend. I'll be playing video games. I'll be, I'll be making shit up. Of be, course. Yeah, yeah. I'll be putting in flyers. I'll be playing both sides. This is what I'm going to do. I'll be going to school. I'll be like, yo, I think we need to organize more LGBTQ events. And I'll be going home like, mom, can you believe what they, they trying to turn me gay, nigga? They, they, they want me to suck, bro. One of the teachers said, lick this popsicle. I ain't going back home. I be, I be playing both sides. If you guys ever had a snow day, if you don't know what snow day is, it's when it snows so hard, everybody got to stay home. Parents get mad because they're like, fuck, I, I, we don't have a babysitter. The school's supposed to do that. But the kids be happy as fuck because you get to stay home and chill out on a Wednesday. Don't even lie. You remember the snow days? Yeah, we didn't have much. We didn't have much. Oh, we... Not as much as they have now. Yeah. Every day is a fucking snow day. Anyways, all that to say. My bad. It was not a disrespect to nobody. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. My parents pulling me, pulling me out of those classes was not a disrespect to nobody. That was not just their fate. So carry on. You see what happened? I, I, now I, I hate all churches. <laughs> I want to ask you. Just kidding. But messages like this were quickly drowned out by the noise of a rowdy crowd. <laughs> Students tearing through pride posters and dancing on pride flags. You said you had a problem with kids stomping on the flag. Yeah. Why? 
Because that's that's a, that's where we go into disrespectful. You know what I mean? Where you don't go into a certain activity, it's just like, I'm not going to partake for this and that. You're not necessarily disrespecting the person. You're not necessarily disrespecting the person, whatever. But stomping on a flag, mm -hmm. just what stomping on a flag means. Right. Just knowing that a flag is not even supposed to to oh. touch the ground. You putting it on the ground. The ground the flag is not supposed to go on the, on the ground. Now you put it on the ground and you stomp it. L let me ask you. Go ahead. Why, if a kid wants to stomp on a flag, why can't they? I, I don't want them to stomp on the flag because that it shows violence. It shows it's, it's what, what it means to stomp on a flag, right? It's the violence with stomping on the flag, what that means. So so it means that you're disrespecting the whole thing. Yeah, you're disrespecting. You're dirtying the flag. You're disrespecting it. You're. It's not. It's okay to say that you don't involve or you don't believe in that or you don't want none of that to to happen uh, with, with you. But stomping on a flag, that's 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 a line that I wouldn't cross. It's highly disrespectful. Highly disrespectful. Mm -hmm. I think when you make that kind of stuff mandatory and you force it on people, their reaction is to stomp on it. I don't think they would ever stomp on it if they weren't making this stuff mandatory and forcing it on people. They're not stomping on the flag to say fuck LGBTQ people. They're saying we don't want this forced on us. It's a different thing. I can understand that. I understand what you're saying and why yeah. it's happening. I'm still not for it happening. Yeah. Well, listen. You could just they they that. push they push kids and they push kids to wear LGBTQ flags. They make them wear it on their heads. They make them put on the colors. They make them do all kinds of weird stuff. That and sounds these like are kids. 1920 propaganda, the, 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 but keep the, the, on going. What? What they doing? Okay. They, so so they're pushing they're pushing the kids yeah. to do that, right? And look, I think it's kind of weird because I don't even think kids really have the mental capacity to really understand all the political implications of like donning these flags and stuff like that. But they push the kids to do it. So for me, if other kids are stopping on it, I really don't care. We're already pushing kids to like adopt these political symbols, whether they really understand it or not. And then after they do that, then they're saying, well, you can't do it this way. For me, you want to stomp on it, you want to wear it. If, if one's okay, then all of them are okay. I don't think it's a good thing. What I'm trying to say is we're already pushing our kids into that political arena. And as far as them stomping on it, I really believe that this is only because it's being mandatory and not because they actually have a deep issue with LGBTQ people. Because I don't think I've seen this kind of stuff generally outside of protests in regards to like mandatory rights. Sure. So. That's why I stand on the stomping on the flag. Anyways, I, I think all in all, the cultural war stuff has really reached new heights. I think there's a lot of fear surrounding it, some of it a bit irrational, but I also understand because the side with whom this fear is geared towards hasn't done a good side from distancing itself from extremism, and then they get, they get lumped in with it. Right. So when you see, you know, Biden talking about, well, we give puberty blockers to minors and we should make all this stuff accessible to kids. It's like, yeah, a lot of parents who are against this kind of shit are going to be like, I don't know if I fuck with that. And you have the highest forms of government endorsing this stuff. And why am I talking about American politics on a Canadian issue? It's because you realize when it comes to a media level, Canadian parents are seeing videos from America. They're seeing videos from the UK. They're seeing videos from Canada. None of this stuff is borders anymore. No. None of this, even though the laws might be different in different places. But what is the shown? fear and the yeah. cultural involvement feels the same in all of these different places, oddly enough. So, yeah, cultural war stuff is real. You're seeing protests and fights breaking out in, in America, in Canada, even in the UK. And I don't think this stuff is going to go down. I think we're just seeing a bit of it now, and it's only going to go higher from here. With this the next election cycle, I'm expecting a lot more. Anything else? No. All right, let us know what you guys think in the comments.